Hi family, welcome to the Luck Moms channel. This is another episode of Sanitizing Narcissists. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, this is how narcissists react after they have lost to their victims. Uh, I just want to tell you first that narcissists, uh, they lack empathy and they always want uh, excess admiration from others. So they can do anything to stay at the top. They always feel that the world owes them something. They feel they are above the world. And this, uh, they believe that uh, nobody will just uh, uh, try to fight them and win. So they believe that they are winners every time. So uh, narcissists, uh, once they lose, uh, they, they get so bitter. I just want to share something on how they react after they have lost to their victims. This is somebody who has been controlling you for the rest of your life. If we hit, uh, maybe you've been married for 30 years. This is the person that has been controlling you. You've been dating and this is the lady who has been controlling you. You know, we have narcissists. We, we can have um, women who are narcissists. We can have men who, have, who are narcissists. And every time they control, they take control. When they control, they feel good, but they don't want to be controlled. They don't want you to go to the opposite direction. They just want to follow uh, you to follow them. So well, it, it will reach one point that you feel like, no, enough is enough. I need to stand on my own feet. I need to make my own decisions. Uh, because once you make a decision, an assist will just interfere and maybe uh, decide that you have to Leave what you have decided and follow what they are advising you. So when it reaches a point that you can decide on your own, that means that you 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 have lo they have lost control over you because they are no longer controlling you. So how are they going to react if they realize that they you have won against them, and they believe that they are the one who always win? So this is there are some shocking things they will do if somebody does these things to you. They just uh, know that uh, you've won. If a narcissist who has been controlling you and they no longer control you, and now uh, they start doing some shocking things. There are some shocking things they will do, and they feel like no, ah, you mean I have won this against this narcissist? There are some things they can do, and you will feel that ah, uh, finally I have won. Maybe this is something that was uh a nightmare to you you never thought that you will uh they, these people you, will never control you anymore you had already set your mind that now let me co be controlled until i die but at one point when you stand on your feet and you decide uh to make your own decisions and this nurses decide to react in this way i'm going to tell you that means that they have lost control over you and they will do anything to manipulate you because these are master manipulators the <clears throat> first thing they'll do they will subject you to public humiliation. <clears throat> this is a person you've been staying together. You shared a lot of secrets together. And now, all of a sudden, they have lost control over you. And they will decide now to humiliate you publicly. This is you, this is somebody you shared your news with. Uh, some, uh, some secrets uh, that were not supposed to be revealed. Now, they will just decide to leak your news online. Uh, and they pretend that nothing has happened. Eh? They just pretend that it's normal. You know, this is somebody who has no empathy. They just leak them, leak your secret conversations to people who know you. They humiliate you. They humiliate you publicly. If somebody has started humiliating you publicly, that's uh, just know that this is a nurse, a narcissist who has just uh, lost control over me, and and this is how they are reacting. If you. Yeah, another thing they do, they just start something called a smear campaign. A smear campaign, uh, they must protect their uh, reputation. Remember, this is somebody who has been uh, having excess admiration from others, and this is what they make makes them feel good. So once they have lost control over you, uh, they will just try their best to protect their reputation. They will just go to an extent of um reaching your relatives your friends uh to tell them how bad you were whatever they were doing bad to you they will just uh, say it's you who you were doing the the bad things to them 
they they have to they have to they go to self defense let, let me say self defensible they have to protect their reputation so that they will not be they will not look bad huh? so they can just tell or oh, if you are the one who used to hide food uh, if they are them who used to hide food from you they will be like that lady is um selfish she never cooked for me she used to hide food or oh, this uh that ex-husband of mine used to hide food what they were the anything bad they were doing to you they would just say it's you who who you were uh, who was doing them the bad things to them they will just say how bad you are they will just say the bad things about you uh if they suspect that uh because now you have known their true character and they fear that you might expose them they will just uh, they will be the first one to expose you using their evil means uh, before you expose them so by the time you are going to defend yourself they have already smeared uh, they have already done they, are, uh, they have already uh, been through the smear campaign against you so you are not going to defend yourself anymore because they were the first people to tell uh, the evil things you did to them so if you see a sister has just decided to make you look bad before the rest, just uh, know that you they have lost control over you. That is what they can do to protect their reputation. Another thing is that uh, they will lie, lie, and deny. Maybe uh, it you, it has happened that you've already uh, unmasked them. Huh? You've uh, you've revealed what they have been doing uh, to you, and they be like, no, that lady is lying. No, that man is lying. They will uh, uh, try their best to protect their image. They will be like, why oh, is she lying? They behave like a child who have just eaten sugar. They just uh, lick sugar. Uh, it's all over the mouth, and be like. Did you like sugar? No, mom. I didn't. I didn't. That is a narcissist who has lost control. They're like, they will have to deny. That's something they, it's like an oath. They have taken that we have to deny. I'm not going to accept this. I don't want to look as a loser. This person is a loser, not me. So they will lie, 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 deny. If you, you ask them, uh, did you, did you beat her? No, I didn't. That is, that lady is a lie. Did you steal the money? No, I didn't. Did you cheat? No, I didn't. That is, she's the cheater. I'm not a cheater. They will lie, lie, and deny. Yeah. You know, nurses, they all tell the same lies. That is uh, one common uh, trait about them. They will tell all common lies. And now, if you see somebody denying something that you just uh, saw them doing and they're denying this is a narcissist who has lost control because they know that even if I say the truth I'm not going to get this person uh, back so the best thing I'll do I just deny deny so that uh, I, she can go away from me because I'm not going to control this person anymore that is a narcissist who has just lost control <laughs> another thing they do once they have lost control over you they will be stalking on you You know, most of the narcissists, some of them, uh, they just refuse to take no as the answer. You'll be like, I don't want you in my life. Leave me alone. But because they just don't want to take no as the answer, they will be stalking you. They will come even uh, past, if, in, if you're in a party, they will just come there and humiliate you like, whom did you... Uh, get permission from to come and attend this party this is the person who you left long time ago but they have refused to take no as the answer and they're just stalking on you they're just following you they just want to know where you went your movements and they want to humiliate you because they used to that is what they used to do they used to control you before but now they can't control you anymore and what they do is just to stalk on you so that uh, they can get a chance where they will humiliate you and you can't resist. So, nurses, they will keep on uh, uh, stalking on you when they have lost control over you. Like, let me see what type of a person she's going to get if she got out of me. And I'm going to teach that person a lesson. <laughs> this is a nurses who has just lost control. Anybody who is stalking on you, 
uh, want to know everything that you are doing and you are no longer together. This is a narcissist that lo who lost control over you. And another thing they can do, this uh, narcissist, once they have lost control over you, remember you've won now and you've decided to stand on your feet and make your own decisions. What they'll do, they'll use your friends to humiliate you. Those friends whom narcissists use to humiliate you, they are called flying monkeys. Flying monkeys, these are people, these are friends who pretend to be your friends, but they help the narcissist to humiliate you. They will just, you are, you are former narcissist, this narcissist, this master narcissist who has been uh, controlling you, will maybe uh, give them uh, some information, shameful information about you, and they will come to reveal it to you to see how you, you will react. Huh? This person will tell uh, your friends, like, you know what, she aborted my pregnancy twice. This is, she is not a wife material. He just slept with my maid. Imagine that is what he could do. I don't want to be this with her. Just go and tell her so that she will know that you, the whole world knows what happened between us. These are flying monkeys. These flying monkeys will just come to you and be like, Oh, you get like mom, Deborah. You know, your husband said you were parted twice. Oh, oh, Mr. ABCD, you know, your uh, ex wife said uh, you were sleeping with your maid. This is a narcissist who is trying to use friends, your friends, to humiliate you. Once they humiliate you like that, uh, you you see somebody is using your friends to humiliate you, revealing uh, dirty uh, information about you. This is a narcissist who has lost control. And remember, narcissists are master manipulators. They can just do anything to get what they want. And they can get anybody to do anything they want so they can use even your friends they can use even your close your siblings even your close uh, relatives to humiliate you so that you can feel humiliated uh, and maybe you can be like oh i don't want to more to be exposed let me go back to this person no don't go back let them ex expose you humiliate you uh, and know that you have won I don't have room for narcissists myself.